Grade 4 Math, number 109, Benchmarks When Measuring. We've talked about benchmarks before. There's something familiar that we use to estimate a distance or a length or a weight. So a mile is a customary unit for measuring length or distance in a line, and it's a U.S. standard length. One mile is equal to 5,280 feet or 1,760 yards. A kilometer is a metric unit for, di for measuring length or distance, okay? So to go over what you've learned before for the U.S. standard or customary units, three crayons wide is about an inch, the height of a textbook is about a foot, the length of a baseball bat is about a yard, and a mile is about how far you can walk in 10 minutes. You know what a cup of water or milk is, one pint is two cups, one quart is two pints, a half of a gallon is two quarts, and a gallon is four quarts. A slice of bread is about an ounce, a loaf of bread is about one pound, and a car weighs about a ton. But you have to be careful because a fluid ounce weighs different than a dry ounce. You can have ounces of milk and ounces of bread and they would be different. For metric units, a pin is about as wide as a millimeter. The width of a cord, an electric cord, is about a centimeter. The width of your hand from side to side is about a decimeter. And about the width of a door is about a meter. Walking 10 minutes is about one kilometer. A millimeter is about 20 drops of liquid. A liter is like a liter of soda that you would get when you order pizza or go to, to a food place. A paper clip weighs about one gram and a baseball bat weighs about one kilogram. So you can see that there were benchmarks in here that a loaf of bread is about a pound so that you know how much a pound is. The width of your hand is about a decimeter so you can say, oh, okay, the width of my hand, I understand. Or that a door is about a meter. So, benchmarks can be used to help us figure out how much something weighs or how tall it is or how heavy it is. Is a table about as tall as a baseball bat? Yeah, it is. From the floor to the top of the table, it's not exact, but it's about as tall as a baseball bat. Does a dollar bill weigh about as much as a shoelace? Yeah, they're both pretty light. Is your school desk about as wide as two textbooks? So choosing benchmarks to describe a length or weight to someone, we pick something that is familiar and usually a standard size. So a good benchmark would be a baseball bat because everybody's seen a baseball bat or the width or height of a door or a gallon of milk. Say, I drank so much water it was like a whole gallon of milk. If you use confusing benchmarks, people won't know what you're talking about. If you said he weighed as much as a dog, well, what kind of dog? Because was it a Chihuahua or was it a big, huge Great Dane? So you would have to say what kind of dog. You could say it was as big as a kumquat. Well, that's kind of confusing for people who've never seen a kumquat and don't know what it is. It's actually a little orange fruit. Or if you said it was as big as a dulcimer. Well, some people might know what a dulcimer is, but m many people don't. It's actually a stringed instrument from the Appalachian Mountains. Okay? So you want to choose units that people will understand and that will make sense. If I said, how much water is in a mop bucket? Would you say an inch or would you say about a gallon? It's probably about a gallon to mop a floor and to rinse the mop out. What if I said, how much sugar would you need to make cookies? Would you say an inch or would you say a cup? Well, you'd say a cup. If I said the length of a nail to nail into a piece of wood, would you say a ton or would you say an inch? Oh well, yeah, it would probably be about an inch. What if I said about the length of a sofa? Well, you wouldn't say a kilometer because that's 10 minutes of walking. That's a pretty big sofa. You'd probably say meter. How about the thickness of a book? Well, that would be about a centimeter. How about the distance that you walk to the store? Now that might be a kilometer, right? 
So when you're using benchmarks, you want to make sure you're using things that are familiar to people or that make sense. Those are benchmarks, and we're going to continue talking about measuring, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.